serious, uh, committed, hardworking, and uh, I think that all came through in the press conference. So. It respects what UCLA embodies, and that, that means something, I think, to the people that are here, the alumni, uh, people like uh, that have played here uh, in, the, in the past. And it's, uh, it's impressive the T came in and, and uh, understands and appreciates what's been built here before him and, and what the expectations are for him, and, and, and that he's not afraid of those things. Uh, you obviously interviewed a number of candidates. What was it about him that specifically stood out? I think he had a clarity about what this job was, what it meant, and uh, a lack of fear. Uh, I think he was willing to embrace and, and meet all the challenges, which are fine. I mean, th this is a place that deserves to have high expectations, and I think he, he welcomed that. And you can hear that, you can see that, and that's important here because it's not just a college basketball job. It's, it's kind of more. You have a responsibility to protect the history, but also to create your own, because we can't just keep relying on what was done uh, years ago. We got to look forward. He's obviously a very successful coach, uh, but what have you been able to share with him just about UCLA uh, culture and community out here um, and kind of what it means to be a Bruin? Well, you know, you can't do that in one meeting or two. You got to feel that. You got to, you got to um, educate yourself. It seems like he was been watching us from afar for many, many years, and, and that's a beginning. But until you're here, I don't know that you know the gravity of it, uh, but I don't think he's unwilling to continue to learn on that front. But look, if you don't go to school here and didn't play basketball here, and I, I was by far, I was not a great player at all, but you can't help but feel uh, what this place has done for college basketball, what basketball has done for this, this university. And so you got to get into the program, you got to understand, you got to meet the alumni, you got to connect, all the things he's doing now. So in a year or two or three, you say, I, I now get it. But hopefully along the way, you're winning. But I don't think anybody can do that unless you've actually experienced it. Uh, last one, uh, what would you say to the UCLA fans just about Coach Cronin and uh, why you're excited that he's here? I'd say, you know what, it's, uh, it's time. It's time to start moving in the direction we all want to move, which, which is back to a consistently winning program. I think we've got all the tools, we've got all the facilities, we've got all the resources. And now we've got a captain of a ship to uh, move it in the direction he wants to move it.